What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are here at 2029 Southeast 15th Street here in Dell City, Oklahoma, Copart Yard 18. Big shout out to Copart, by the way, for letting us come out here and do this. Big shout out to y'all for watching. Hey, do me a favor. We're getting into this video. Hit that thumbs up button right now so you don't forget. Let everybody know, let YouTube, let me know that you love these videos. We're going to jump into this right now with a 2011 Dodge Ram 1500. It's actually kind of mean looking guy. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't sure in the pictures if I was really going to like this grill in person. And I know like 90% you you're probably going to hate it. I love it. I truly, I, I think this is, I think this is slick. I, I actually really do like it. Uh, the headlights, yeah, I think I kind of like them too. It's a clean looking truck. Now it's listed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm pretty sure this was listed as a non-runner. Now it's got a D on it. So maybe this does run. CDS car, which means it comes from another dealership. 211,000 miles. Tires, eh, you know. I, I would say the tires are definitely drivable. Looks like it was a painter's truck or something. Uh, overall, the truck looks pretty good. Truck looks pretty good. I like that Ram right there, too. That's clean. That's clean. Tailgates, you know, dinged and dented, but whatever. It's a truck, right? It looks good. It looks real good. Um... I'm positive this was listed as a non-runner. So if it runs, well, that's a game changer, right? It's, hmm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I have to think about what I'm smelling. Every car is so different, guys. The smells out here are just, it, it just, hmm. That's, yeah, I don't know. I, that's, it's, 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 it smells like someone trying to make it smell good on top of something that smells really bad in here. All right, it's got the key. This one has power. That's a blessing. It's got some miles on her. I'm assuming it's a 5.7. I, I didn't even check, to be honest with you. Let's see what happens. All right, we have a check engine light. Oil pressure is good. So far, so far so good. TPMS light is flashing. The engine light's not flashing though, so that's positive. All right, AC is ice cold. This is four by four, so that's nice as well. I, I think I feel a misfire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap on the accelerator a little bit. I'm pretty sure I feel a miss. No, maybe not. Oh, I'm telling you guys, I feel a, I feel a miss but not when you rev it up. Yeah, I mean, it moves forwards and backwards, okay. Let's try four by four. It's engaged. Let's put it in four low. Yep, four low is engaged. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. Put it back in two wheel drive. Okay. All right, well, it looks like everything is working. Important window works. That window works, air conditioning works. I still, man, I still feel something going on here find this hood release guys i want to see what's going on in there it, it could possibly be a motor mount or something who knows but uh the truck feels like it's shaking like it's got a miss but as soon as i tap on the accelerator it seems like it goes away so it could be something simple could need a could be a weak coil oh yeah she's, she's missing all right man look at that it's like a rock it could be a coil going out it could need a spark plug replaced who knows uh, it could be more serious than that too it could be uh you know, leaking head gasket or something. It's hard to tell. But I'm telling you, it seemed like as soon as I tapped on the accelerator pedal, man, she cleared right up. Where's the, uh, where's the exhaust come out on this bad boy over here? There we go. Oh yeah, that's a dead miss. Can you hear it? And the tires are no good. I just realized that too. Tires are cracking. 
right there in the tread cracked so we got a dead miss it needs tires I don't think it's anything serious though guys I don't we'll see what the bids go on this guys I I, I try not to get excited about pickup trucks anymore because the truth of the matter is uh, trucks go for outrageous prices here man they just do I don't I don't know why anytime I try to sell a truck I end up losing money on it so I don't see any money for me <laughs> in flipping trucks but apparently people out here are doing it man people out here are making a killing flipping trucks because they're buying them at a I'm telling you a premium out here at the auction guys so let's move on to the next one next on my list is a 94 chevy caprice guys she took a bad hit to the back unfortunately uh now if i remember correctly the title is good though um i could be wrong about that but i'm i'm pretty certain that the title was clear on this so this is a non-runner oh no key damn really okay that i wasn't aware of ah, dang it man that that sucks that sucks now it's easy to get a key for these cars obviously it's not going to be difficult but damn it man <sighs> not it's not in here no no key no key come on now in the movies they're always hiding them up here key key come on where is the daggum key man dang it this is a good year too this is a good year i love 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 these caprices man Look, I'll tell you right now, this car may be rough. She'll run. I guarantee you she'll run. She'll run and she'll drive. The interior smells decent. The interior looks pretty decent. Obviously, that rear end is trash. But there's nothing keeping the car. That's, that's what I love about these old cars, guys. These boats... Uh, well... <laughs> well, not only is there no key, but the hood doesn't work either. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's maybe one of those that takes two people, and I'm only one person. Come on. Is there a key under the mat? Key under the seat? Key in here? Anywhere? Anywhere? Ah. Man, I desperately wanted to hear this one. And I really want to see under the damn hood, man. This blows. Yeah, this blows. We're not gonna be able to pop this hood, are we? No. She's stuck. She's stuck real good. Okay, so we have multiple issues. You know, one, we can't pop the hood, and two, there's no key, so man, I was really I was really hoping to possibly try to pick this one up. I know she's rough in the back. I just I hate seeing these things. I know where it's going. You know where it's going. It's going to the crusher, man. This car's going to the scrapyard. Nobody's going to fix that rear quarter. Nobody. The car's not worth it. Look, I mean, look at this. This is bad, guys. That door ain't going to open. Like, it's going to the crusher. I just wanted to save it. I just wanted to save it. And I thought maybe somebody, you know, somebody could use it and actually put it back on the road. But with no keys and not being able to pop the hood and the rear damage, it's, it's, it's sadly, man, it's just not worth it. Damn, it's kit. Guys, it breaks my heart. Breaks my like I I have I really when I tell you I got a soft spot for certain cars, I really do. It's like a puppy. It's like a puppy with cute little puppy eyes staring up at you like like please help me. And there's nothing you can do for it. You know, kills me. It really does. Breaks my heart. But uh, uh yeah, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Damn. Next, we got a 2009 Dodge Grand Caravan. I'm not entirely sure why this one's here. It's listed as a clean title, a run and drive, but it does have 300,000 miles on the odometer, so that might have something to do with it. Yeah, 298,636 miles. Looks like someone left this back window open. So this was a, uh, what was this? www. I can't read it. So it obviously was a business vehicle. So chances are it was a... Uh, well cared for. Oh, it's a wheelchair van. Okay. You can tell I didn't look at all the pictures, guys. I, I'm, I'm real bad about that. I'm real bad about not checking out all the pictures. Huh. Okay. 
I'll be honest with you, I have no clue about the uh, wheelchair vans. None at all. I, I don't know what they're worth. Um, but I'm pretty sure these things are actually worth a fair amount of money. It's decent. It looks like everything's there. I see a lot of uh, buckles in the back for locking down the wheelchair. The tires look good. The body looks good. It's dirty. It's really dirty. I'm going to assume that it's not going to start uh, without a jump. I hate making assumptions like that, but... Uh, oh! Man, a Dodge with 300,000 miles on it. How about that? We got multiple sets of keys. That's always good. Yep, dead as a doornail. So, let's pop the hood. Let's see what she's working with under here. If I can even get up here. Uh, this, this parked a little close. Uh, there we go. A 300,000 mile Dodge. It really looks to be in pretty good shape, guys. Oh, this is difficult. If I got y'all going sideways or up in the sky, please forgive me. I'm sorry. 3.3 liter. Everything under here <laughs> actually looks to be pretty damn good shape. Uh, I don't know why I'm so surprised, but I'm, I'm very surprised. Obviously, it's, you know, seeping a little oil here and there, but whatever. Oh, the oil's golden clean like it's brand new. All right. Oil looks good. How's the trans look? Trans fluid actually looks really good too. What? It's like it's still rocking its original plug wires. <laughs> okay, let's put a jump on this. Let's 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 hold on, hold on. What happened here? Reprogram PCM. Okay, uh, 2015. Okay, so no big deal. But yeah, throw a jump on it. Yeah, see what she does. Well, it sounds like some things have come to life. All right, let's do it to it. I do want to see if those, uh, okay. She fired right up. Immediate check engine light, right? Looks like we got an immediate lot of lights. Uh, brake light, ABS, check engine, tire pressure. All right. Where are the rear vents? I would like to close those rear, uh, rear window vents if we can unfortunately let's turn okay let's turn all this stuff off here oh the air conditioning is ice cold there's the window vents right there okay yeah they work they work they're closed they're closed now it sounds like it runs great guys and did I mention the air conditioning is ice cold? Oh my goodness, that feels wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's put it in gear. Yeah, she goes backwards. I'm gonna give it a little space from this caprice up here. Put in drive. Yeah, right into drive, man. I'm gonna put it in drive with my foot on the brake and give it a little gas to see if I Yeah, okay. Just making sure first gear is not slipping. I know Dodges are kind of notorious for uh, transmission issues. This is great. I mean, you know, for what it is anyway, it's it's got a lot of miles. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of lights on the dash. A lot of lights. It's probably low on brake fluid. Who knows what those other uh let's shut it off and see if any of those lights go away. Uh oh. She, she died. All right. Low tire and an ABS light. So, important window work? Yes, it does. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Okay, the windows are a little flaky. 
uh, this is all normal stuff i know it sounds crazy to say that but it's all this is all normal crap that happens when you have a dead battery man windows get confused doors get confused tires look excellent on this i didn't see a low tire but i'll double check could just be a tpms sensor gone bad it could also be a low tire that front tire actually looks like it may be a little low yeah that front tire is low for sure so that may be it and uh most likely an abs sensor listen to how quiet it is hey, it literally is running great running very well voltage is uh charging at 14 volts so that's good we can shut this off now it doesn't need this anymore yeah it should probably fire up on our own if we let it run for a few minutes and charge up that battery yeah this is decent guys i don't know what what do you think should we look into buying one of these i don't know like i said i have no idea i have no idea what the market's like for these none um i'm going to assume that it's not something that you've got a whole bunch of people looking for so it's not going to be uh like a quick flip type thing Hey, we'll see. We'll see what it goes for. I'm gonna tap on the gas just a little bit again. Yeah, it's not. There's no smoke blowing out the back or anything like that. Yeah, this is nice. Should we shut it off? I'm afraid. I'm afraid it may be too soon. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna sit here and look at this a little bit longer off camera, and we'll, we'll see what happens, man. The auction's coming up for me here in just a few hours, so. You know, let's see what happens. Moving on to the next one. Last on my list, guys, an 09 Suburban donation. Hmm. Now that's, that's got me interested. Donations are always a mixed bag. 232,000 miles. Tires look decent at first glance. And body looks, body actually looks really good. <laughs> huh. Yeah, these tires look great. Why would, how did this get donated? There's got to be something wrong with it. It's, let's just run and drive. See how the interior, I don't want to bump this car here, so I'm trying to be careful. A lot of the paints come out, it's fairly dirty, chrome peeling, all the typical GM stuff, man. This is all normal. Lights are on. This, this one may actually fire up for us. It needs a good cleaning. I'm certain this is gonna have third row seats too. This is decent. I think this one's worth putting a bid on for sure. Does it open on its own? No, it does not. Yes, third row. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, I mean, it needs a thorough cleaning inside and out, but this is actually a really decent looking vehicle, guys. All right, you've got me interested. There's there's no room here. Like this thing is jam packed in here. I'm trying not to hit other cars. Eh, a little damage to the seat. Like I said, this is all gonna be all gonna be normal stuff, especially with something with it's got almost a quarter million miles on it. I'm surprised the radio still has any paint left on the buttons. That stuff is usually gone. I do a good example. I wonder if this is going to have like a displacement on demand issue. You know what I mean? We'll see. All right. It runs well. No lights on other than a tire light, really? Just the tire pressure light, guys. Service TPMS. All right, cool. Odometer 232, 372. She runs great. Really great. All right. Uh, let's try out the air conditioning here. I think you pushed that for AC. Oh, is it not coming out of the vents? We got a broken, broken blend door. Let's try this again. Oh, you turn it on, uh, you turn it on vent. And it comes out. Oh, there. Okay, the vents are all closed. That's bizarre. 
And the verdict is air conditioning is ice cold. Sure is. Let's give it a little throttle. Sounds good. What do you think? A transmission problem, maybe? Port and windows work? Hmm. Hmm. Can I even back up any? I'm not sure that I can. I guess I can let it scoot back just a hair. Yeah, it moves back and forward. Yeah. Like I said, there ain't, there really ain't, there really ain't nowhere for me to go. This thing is just crammed in here. Very careful, very careful. I don't want to ding anything. I'm real, I'm real particular about door dings, guys. I can't stand them. I sure can't stand dinging stuff myself. All right. Leave that door open. I guess the next question is, I don't know if this is all wheel drive or not. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. And what engine we got in here? Uh, Aero Record Service. Pair it up with Smickless Chevrolet. Man, listen to that. Boy, she runs perfect. Uh, I, I'm going to guess that it's a 5.3. Um, I honestly don't know. I don't know if it's all-wheel drive or not, so let's take a peek in here. It is not. There's no, uh, there's no drive axle, so it's two-wheel drive. Okay. Well, she's a boat, man. Uh, I guess there was plenty more room for me to back up, wasn't there? Flex fuel vehicle. Good tires. Looks good. Man, really? Uh, all I need to know now is what engine. I know it's a 5.3. I just want to double check. Uh, 5.3, yeah. All right. Well, let's check the trans fluid. And there's a reason I'm glad it's two-wheel drive, because if the transmission is bad, I would prefer it to be a two-wheel drive. Uh, the labor is going to be a lot cheaper to get the transmission rebuilt on a two-wheel drive than a four-wheel drive. Trans fluid is, I mean, it's not pink, but it's not black. To me, it looks like the trans fluid would be okay. Looks like it's acceptable. Okay. Well, oh, damn. Okay, there's just not enough room here for me to get in here and close this. Guys, I'm putting a bid on this one. I'm putting a bid. I don't know what I'm gonna bid on it. Uh, she seems to run good. She sounds good. She looks good. I don't know what we could sell it for exactly. I'm thinking, assuming it runs and drives down the road all right, which I believe it probably will. Did, did I just tap that, damn it? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to back it up just a hair more. There we go. Transmission feels strong. Uh, only a TPMS light. This is it's a no-brainer. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll bid like, uh, maybe we'll bid like 25, 3,500 on this. Let's see what it goes for, guys. Certified service. So they've been changing the oil with the good stuff, the Dexos. All right, guys, as you can see, here's the here's the Suburban. It's sitting at seventeen hundred dollars right now. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a bid on this bad boy. What do you guys think? Let's uh, select all. Let's delete. Let's bid this thing up to. What do you think we should bid this up to, guys? I'm thinking. I'm thinking three thousand. So so since I'm thinking three thousand, let's do twenty eight fifty. Let's confirm the bid, confirm, and you're winning. Yes, nice, current bid 2250, so we're close. We're close, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, high bid 20, my, my max bid's 2850. We'll see what happens, guys. This is the last one. So that's my cue to get out of here, guys. They throw us out at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday, and it is Tuesday, and it is 1057, so I've got three minutes to make it from where I'm at all the way to the front and get get the heck up out of here. You know what, maybe we can squeeze in one more car. What do you, do you think we can squeeze in one more car? I think we can squeeze in one more. Let's find one more car. We'll end this video with a little bit of carnage of the BMW X5. 
she took a she took a bad hit to the front no joke man these are beautiful guys i love these what year is this an 11 yeah it's an 11 i love the color i love these wheels i think it's sick i don't know now i know a lot of a lot of my viewers don't care for bmws a lot of you tell me that they're junk and they're worthless they're awful and you know my experience with bmw hasn't been the greatest but in all fairness it's one of those things where if this is your wheelhouse man you know if bmw is what you do or european cars is what you do hey man this is right up your alley well not this particular one maybe but but you know what i mean i'm more of an american car guy i always have been and uh therefore i don't know enough about these european cars to you know properly repair them and i get called out all the time when i try anytime i try working on these things people yell at me for one thing or another that i've done wrong look man I'm doing the best i can with what i have and with what i know how to do as well as with the amount of time i have to get things done uh, i i really don't care what anybody says i love the, i love bmws i do i really really do i think they're sleek i love mercedes benz too you know that's just these are some of those cars that are just out of my price range for now for now you know maybe someday i don't know it just depends and even if i could afford to do stuff like this newer cars newer european cars i don't even know if my subscribers would be interested in it a lot of my subscribers are not uh well they tell me anyway at least on instagram that they're not interested in these european cars they're interested in the stuff that i do regularly which is just your regular run-of-the-mill typically american cars most people just interested in that stuff it's the stuff that almost any one of us can go out and buy fix and hell maybe even make a little money off of ourselves here's another one this is an x5 it's going to be what an x3 x3 is there an x3 <laughs> i don't know i think it's an x3 it's an x3 thing Whew. I'm... <laughs> i told you not my wheelhouse man not my wheelhouse this one's nice though it's small it's real small but still very nice huh? very that's an interesting smell i don't know what that smell is i wonder what's wrong with this one so this says a uh, run and drive it's a liberty mutual insurance company car so it's here for insurance reasons but i don't see anything wrong with it. i wonder if this is a flood maybe that's why it smelled funky unless you want to try it yeah i bet it's here for a flood this smells funky man oh nope 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 yeah i think it is here for a flood i do well it smell you could just smell it you know what i mean it there, there's just a, there's a smell if you don't know you got to go check out your local copart yard man and smell go go find a flood car that was flooded real good and uh and go smell i'm trying to find the damn hood latch here and i can't find the stupid thing there we go yeah either this is a flood or she's got no oil but there's no oil dipstick on these either so you you can't uh you can't check the oil on these anyway i don't know yeah i think it's undercarriage damage guys maybe or maybe a hell i that's a tow hook i don't know oh i don't see any oil leaking out from under so i'm i'm gonna assume it's a flood it probably sucked up some water hydro locked and now you're stuck with that either way well i was gonna say a couple good looking x uh x series here but th this one this one not so much that one still looks good though now we're gonna get out of here all right guys now that i have successfully taken up every single minute that i'm allowed to be out here at the cope every minute in fact by the time i get through the front door it's probably going to be two or three minutes after and they're probably gonna yell at me no, i'm kidding they don't yell at me but they are they are very strict about uh you know when people are allowed to be out here and uh tuesdays since the auction starts at noon at 11 o'clock man you got to be out of here so that's why i'm kind of kind of picking up my pace i don't want to piss anybody off here you know i definitely don't want to piss anybody off here but i really wanted to finish this video for you guys so hopefully we did that without getting anybody angry at us hey if you enjoyed this content boy i don't have any thumbs uh hit the hit the thumbs up hit the thumbs up button for us guys i would truly appreciate it follow me on facebook and instagram auto auction rebuilds consider hitting that subscribe button subscribe to the channel i truly appreciate it hey stay tuned guys we got auctions coming up here in less than an hour i'm bidding on three cars and i'm winning i'm winning until next time everybody stay safe out there i'll catch y'all very soon Whew. 
in the next one.